What's up, my sweethearts? What it do? My sweethearts, get your lights all the way up. And let's run this thing like cardio. What's up, my sweethearts? What it do? It's your girl, Jennifer. I'm the realest. My sweethearts, get your lights all the way up. And watch your girl run this thing. Well, hear your girl run this thing like cardio. Make sure the light is up. All right. Make sure y'all get your light is all the way up. I hope y'all got your light is my sweethearts all the way up. All right. Team Mom admits to leaving Tyler alone for six days, my sweethearts. Six days while she celebrates for her birthday. Okay. That's why I want your light is all the way up because your girl great go in like cardio and does walk this. Unacceptable. My sweethearts, when I tell y'all, nobody have excuses. That's why I keep saying no excuses for this. I don't give none, all right? So, yes, a teen mom admits to leaving her toddler alone for six days while she celebrates her birthday. You hear me? Um... I never want to give her their name, my sweetheart, because you already know what I call them. I get my lights up, duck, walk them, and call them monsters, straight up. Because if you hurt a child, you don't need to be called their mom, their dad. You need to be called monster. But in this case, my sweetheart, teen mom, Verfi Cootie, has pled guilty in connection to the, my sweetheart, it was 2019 death of her 20-month-old daughter. Asia, it seemed like her name is Isaiah, Isaiah Cootie, my sweethearts, the BBC reports. Isaiah's body was discovered in Cootie's Brighton apartment in December, okay, my sweethearts, of 2019, like I said. An autopsy revealed that the toddler had died as a direct result of neglect, straight up neglect. Well, we can see that. I could, I mean, I could tell a story right now without even uh, reading it, my sweethearts. Come on. You're a, a, a young child or teen mom or whatever admitting to leaving a baby in the house for six days. Come on. Suffocate, I mean, um, um, dehydration. Hunger. Come on. I'm not slow to that. This was an idiot. Um. So, like I said, an autopsy reveal. An autopsy revealed, my sweetheart, that the toddler had died as, as a direct result of neglect, like I said. Investigators say that she starved, became dehydrated, and then, and then developed the flu on top of all that. And I'm not shocked. And I, and, and I wouldn't be shocked if, 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 if any infant... I'm sorry, my sweetheart, so I'm stuttering like this. I mean, I just can't get it out. I wouldn't be shocked, though, if any infant... Bugs, anything like that was eaten on her. You get me? Six days? She's food for whatever's in the apartment or house. Six days alone? A baby? My sweetheart, then he go and say, according to the Daily Mail, the child was left at home alone without access to food or water while her mother left town. She didn't even go out to a club, my sweetheart. She left town for six days to celebrate her birthday right in london approximately 150 miles away my sweetheart lights is all the way up your girl wanna I, oh my goodness if it wasn't for like the youtube safety like you had to you can't say certain stuff my sweetheart the stuff that i want to say about this teenager just trash. My sweetheart, I gotta get my lights all the way up. Yep, I need a smoke break because that right there is so stupid, dumb, despicable. I don't even think a 10-year-old would have left a baby alone. A 10-year-old. A 10 and 11-year-old, I bet they would have felt more sympathy than leaving a baby. Than this teen. You got little kids that love babies more than the own teen, teen, teen parents. 
Are you serious? She, did, did, she said she going to take the cake for the tube. Or for the news. She said, I'm not going to a party. I'm going to stunt on everybody go to London. When your baby is in the house about to fall down like the London Bridge. About to collapse. Real stuff, no being funny. Are you serious? And this is what your girl Jennifer M. Norellis go extra for. So whoever don't want to hear me go extra, exit the building. Right now, because guess what? This is why I dug walk up with a tight leash. Not the kind that they need some air. The kind that they can't breathe. Tighten the rope up. Straight up. My sweet y'all, let's keep going. Cameras outside of the family's apartment show Cootie leaving December 5th and returning on December 11th, which is when she called 999 to report that her baby would not wake up. Yes, I'm going to repeat it. Which is when she called 999 to report that her baby would not wake up. After reviewing the footage, staff members of the housing agency where Cootie and the toddler lived notified police. So she left the baby in a house of a housing agency where she lived at. We are heartbroken and angry at how Verfi behaved. Verfi had been estranged from the family for quite a long time and we had minimal contact with her. Cootie's sister, um, Asia Betrain told the, pub, uh, the public, my sweethearts, but see, that's the problem. Nobody was messing with it. And I can see that because you left a baby in the house. We had spoken to her and we're still not clear what she was doing for those six days. Who she was with and why she felt like that. Who the hell knows? We can't understand it, my sweethearts. Investigators also admit that they were deeply troubled by findings of the investigation. This was a particularly distressing case for my team and me to investigate. And he caused great sorrow amongst Verfi's family and the many agencies that have supported Verfi and Asia, said Detective Andy. Cootie has been the subject of several missing person investigations since she was 14 years old. My heart is so broken. My daughter was missing. She had been missing since the age of 14. Cootie's 59-year-old father said during the, um, wait a minute, during the hurry, my sweetheart. So she been like running away. And she don't get sentenced to May, my sweetheart. All I'm going to say is for that girl, she, I don't know if she thought she was hurting somebody. Because you know how it is, these teenagers, like, they ask somebody, oh, can you watch my kid or ask a parent or something? No, I ain't watching your child. Oh, okay. Well, you ain't watching my kid. Well, I'm going to leave it in the house. So I'm going to leave him in the house and see what you did. Like someone cares. That's what I'm trying to say, sweethearts, to these young teens. You're not hurting people on the outside. Yes, they're hurt. The family hurt once they find out something happened to their babies, those babies. But y'all are really hurting your children. You are really bringing yourself down as the parent you're supposed to be. Excuse me, my sweetheart. <clears throat> um, they really bringing their self down as the parents they supposed to be. It's already a statistic. You know how they say, oh, you shouldn't be a teen parent. And I think they shouldn't. And I think they shouldn't. 13, 14, 15, 16, keep it closed. 17, even 18. Get a career, get something going with yourself, and then maybe you could be a little more mature. Because these girls, these boys, what well, these teens, period. You want to have these babies, go out and party. No, that should have been happening before you lay down and have these babies. And see, and that's as parents, as parents, but like they said, she been a runaway. Since 14. So that, that I don't expect her to do right by her child. She ain't been doing right as a child. So now her child is dead. And she gonna get manslaughter? Really? Really? 
I hope you do so much time in jail. I don't care if you get getting manslaughtered, but I hope you do so much time in jail. They rock your world straight up. Because I don't care if, what I'm trying to say is my sweetheart, it's so sad that this teen shell is dead, but she seemed to be alive. Her parents didn't do nothing to neglect her, and she was a bad child. You heard them say she was out of control, running away. And, and she's not even a real baby. You're 19. You telling me calm and sit in and set in and say, no, I'm not leaving my child. Um, uh, oh my goodness. Are you serious? I can't believe you left your child to go out of town. Not just to a club. Out of town. You might as well went on and buried your child because what you thought? Oh, your child was going to get up and make herself or himself some food, a baby? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope, a toddler. So what your toddler can go and cook for itself? Go in a uh, refrigerator, get food, water, all that? Are you serious? My sweethearts, the way they call out these disorders so much for these people, they need to try to diagnose her with something. You're not telling me she's all the way, to, all the way together and you done that? Like I said, not even a club, not a party, not a house party, not a block party, street party. She went out of town to London. Are you serious? And they wonder why I go so extra. Well, evidently the parents didn't go extra or were scared to go extra because of who she is. I wish I would be. And got a nerd to plead guilty to manslaughter. No, you need to be pleading guilty to the death penalty. Just like that baby suffered. And the sad thing is, the whole time I feel, she not even going to suffer like her baby suffered. She not. She going to get thrown in a slam, slam her, act like she retarded, act like she off, to get set in, to get set in a whole nother room by herself. Still, she's living a life and eating a meal. That baby didn't get a meal. Nothing to drink. So why is she? she? Makes no sense. You're basically just, I'm leaving my child to starve. Because that's what you did. What, you left the baby on the bed with a lot of snacks and, and a drink and thought that was going to do it? I can't believe you had the balls to think about a party and you, you don't even have a babysitter. Are you serious? My sweetheart, she been in there all that time. Still, for October 2020, this an update. Still in there and will be sentenced on May the 28th. And I'm glad they kept her in there. Uh, her baby starved to death after her despiteful, deceitful, conniving monster mom left her alone while she went on a six-day party to celebrate. She went to celebrate her 18th birthday, my sweetheart. She's now 19, okay? Make no sense. When they got to that baby, dead. Are you serious? My sweethearts, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified. Comment with your girl. Chime in, my sweethearts. Because you know what the realists do. We don't play over here, my sweethearts. We don't give these moms, these dead beats, these monsters, no slack. Because these children, what? Nobody got no excuses for these babies. That was a monster. All embedded in her. She was, she, she don't need to be no type of mom. None. Despicable. It just get worse and worse. See how y'all say my sweetheart? Dad, what? Well, who would do that? I know. See? 
That's why I gotta run this justice because it these the evil devils come in all ages, sizes, shapes, colors, don't matter. And it don't matter to me because I straight dug walk them all. A chain that fit around anybody neck. It's your girl, Jennifer, and the realest, my sweetheart. Like I said, please like, share, subscribe. Comment with your girl, especially my real sweethearts. Where y'all at? And let's get it. It's your girl, and I'm out.